Hey DIYers, Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to talk about if you can use more than one battery pack with the Honeywell Lyric Alarm System. Uh, the answer is no. You can't use more than one battery pack with the Honeywell Lyric. Um, there's only one battery or there's only one port in the Honeywell Lyric that allows you to connect a battery backup. Um, now there are two options for battery backups that you can use with the Lyric. Um, there's the LCP 504B and then there's the LCP 524B. Um, either one of these battery backups you can use with the Lyric, but again, you can only use one at a time. Now, the battery backup is very important for the Honeywell Lyric system because um, if your power ever goes out, then as you all know, the battery backup will keep the system up and going um, and it'll keep it powered up until the, or until the power comes back. Um, now, in order for the Honeywell Lyric to be able to communicate with the Alarm at 360 servers or even Total Connect 2.0, it needs to have some sort of battery or some sort of power. So if the power ever goes out, then that's why the battery backup is there. So if you wanted to check out what happens um, when, the when the Honeywell Lyric goes, runs on battery backup power, um, you can just follow the link to the FAQ below and this will give you a detailed um, description of what happens and how the Lyric uh, behaves whenever the uh, backup power, or whenever it is running on the backup power. Now, when the Honeywell Lyric is um, being powered up and it's using the transformer, or it's being powered up via the transformer, um, that backup battery is continuously storing power so that whenever the power does go out, it is ready to be able to kick in and be able to keep the system up and going until that power um, switches back on. Now, the backup batteries, um, it is very important to keep this in mind, is that these batteries will, over time, eventually lose charge. Um, and the thing is, is, is these are supposed to last about three to five years. Um, they're supposed to hold the charge for about that long, but once they do, then you will need to replace it. Um, and as stated before or earlier in the video, um, there are two options you can choose for backup batteries. And um, there's the LCP 500, 4B and then there is the LCP 524B. Now the difference between the two uh, between both of those is that the um, LCP 504B um, it is meant to last four hours if the power goes out um, and that also is the default battery backup that comes with the Honeywell Lyric when you receive it and um, there's the LCP 24B which um, this one you would have to get separately but it, this one is supposed to last 24 hours. So if you wanted to change out the battery backup for the Honeywell Lyric, you're just gonna follow these simple steps. So what you'll do is, um, first step is just taking the system off of the back plate. So to do that, you're just gonna push it, or well first, you're gonna look at the bottom and um, there's normally gonna be a screw at the bottom holding it in place. Um, you will need to take that out first before you go ahead and take it off the back plate. But once you do, you're just gonna push the system up and then pull the system towards you. And now it's gonna come off the back plate. And whenever you are um, doing anything with battery backup um, or changing the power for the system or anything like that, you always want to um, go through the procedure of unplugging the battery backup first and then um, unplugging the, uh, the power for the system. So in this case, um, you'll just unplug the battery backup and then, um, since we have an LT cable, we're just going to disconnect this. Um, but if you do not have the LT cable, you are just going to plug in the transformer. <laughs> so, as you can see, um, our Honeywell Lyric is completely powered down um, because we did unplug the battery backup and the uh, power for the system. So, if you look in the inside of it, um, we now have the uh, battery backup, which is in the center of the console and um, we have the power cable for or not the power cable but the connector for the battery backup and here is the port that you would plug it into so um, now one thing that I do want to point out between or the difference between the two battery backups that I had mentioned um, the twin or the the LCP 504B this one that one's going to be blue and the LCP of 524B is going to be green. So um, this is the this is the blue one. So this is the one that comes with the Honeywell Lyric when you order it. So if you wanted this, uh, if you were to switch out the battery backup, um, you're going to look at the first. There's going to be a back plate that you're going to want to uh, take off first, 
And um, as you can see, there's going to be a screw that you're going to have to take out. So uh, you're going to need a um, Phillips screwdriver to be able to uh, take out this screw. And you're just going to unscrew this. You gotta take out the whole screw. And then you're gonna take off this little uh, battery piece or the cover and the battery backup is now going to be um, able to be taken out. So when you're uh, putting in the new backup battery, you're just gonna uh, make sure that the cable, which is at the top, you're gonna make sure that the cable is located at the top of the backup battery. You don't wanna uh, put it in with it facing that way. Um, I mean, you can if you want to, but normally it's a lot easier to be able to plug this, the connector in to the ports, which is located right at the top um, of the Lyric. It's just gonna be a lot easier if you have the cable facing upwards. So you're just gonna pop in the uh, backup battery where it was already in place, and you're just gonna hold it up in place at the top. And what you're going to do is uh, grab this um, backup battery cover and you're going to take this end um, this end right here and you're going to place it into you're going to slide it into one of these ports so what you're going to do is just pop it in make sure it aligns with where the screw was and uh, you are going to need your Phillips screwdriver and you're going to need your screw <laughs> so just screw that in place And now the backup battery is not going to move at all um, if the Honeywell Lyric were to be uh, taken off the back plate or anything like that. And once you're done installing it, you're going to take your connector and you're going to plug it into the port at the top. Just tuck the cables in, make sure they're not messy. And the last step is to finally power it back up. So in this instance, um, what we're gonna do is just take the LT cable and we're just gonna plug it in. Um, but if you do have a normal setup, then you're just gonna pop it in place and you're gonna plug in the transformer and your system will be powered back up. All right, so when you're um, plugging it back in, um, well, actually first, we, what we had to do was grab the LT cable again and feed it through. But um, when you're plugging that back in, you know, you, you basically just mount the system and you plug in the transformer. Um, but in the case, as I said, we're just gonna plug in the LT cable. And you're going to place it back on the back plate. So to do that, you're just going to um, keep it up at the top and just gently drop it down. And that's it. And that is how many battery backups you can use with the Honeywell Lyric alarm system. If you have any further questions about the Honeywell Lyric or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you have notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jarrett with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.